see. Welcome, Madam Secretary. It's a pleasure to see you here. Your old dad, Sir. who served on this committee with me and worked in this room, would be very proud of what you're doing. Thank you. Uh, questions. <clears throat> with regard to the Affordable Care Act, the continuing resolution, H.R. 1, makes a number of blunt and reckless cuts in programs that are critical to the health and the well-being of the American people. At the same time, the Affordable Care Act has begun implementing historic consumer protections, including ensuring coverage for children with pre-existing conditions, prohibiting rescissions on coverage by insurance companies, allowing children up to 26 to stay on their parents' insurance, amongst others. Under H.R. 1, CMS would receive a cut of $458 million, or more than 23% of the, that agency's 2010 budget. Will H.R. 1 delay or impede the implementation of the consumer protection provisions of the Health Reform Act? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Uh, Madam Secretary, would you please give us, for the record, a statement as to how and where these cuts will come and what will be the effect on the, on the uh, programs involved? Uh, Madam Secretary, the Affordable Care Act provides seniors on Medicare with a 50% discount on brand name drugs, a critical step towards increasing the coverage under Medicare Part D. Will H.R. 1 delay or prevent the seniors from receiving this discount? Yes or no? Mr. Chairman, the cuts to um, Medicare services will... But it is a danger. Pardon me? But it is a danger that it will yes, affect sir. those provisions. Yes, sir. All right, Madam Secretary, just yesterday we heard from Medicare Program Integrity Group Director John Spiegel regarding the anti-fraud efforts at CMS, including the new tools provided by ACA to prevent fraud before it occurs. Will H.R. 1 delay or harm efforts to prevent fraud, waste, and abuse in Medicaid or Medicare? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Would you submit for the record a statement as to how and why? Madam Secretary, with regard to food safety, as you know, uh, another important undertaking is the implementation of FDA Food Safety Modernization Act. This legislation made historic investments in our food safety system and provided new authorities to help FDA to prevent food safety programs before they occur throughout the food supply. H.R. 1 included $241 million in cuts from the FDA. Will this cut or these cuts impede FDA's ability to implement the Food Safety Modernization Act? Yes. Yes, yes sir, or no? Yes, sir, they will. Would you please explain that for the record, if you please, Madam Secretary? Yes, sir. Madam Secretary, last Congress I joined with my colleagues, uh, Mr. Waxman, Mr. Pallone, and Mr. Stupak to introduce drug safety legislation that would give the FDA the authorities and resources it needs to adequately protect consumers from unsafe drugs and to monitor our food safety, or rather our, the safety of our drug supply. Will H.R. 1 impede FDA's Center for Drug Evaluation and Research from evaluating and monitoring drugs for safety and effectiveness? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Madam, would you submit an explanation as to why that is so? Madam Secretary, the FDA is consistently and chronically underfunded. And I continue to hope that FDA uh, will get needed registration fees to help fully implement the food safety law. I note that those fees would have, were approved by and supported by the industry. Do you believe that registration fees are necessary to implementing the Food Safety Modernization Act, yes or no? Yes, sir. Madam Secretary, uh, you have been requested, or the department has been requested, to produce uh, documents for the benefit of this committee. I would note, Madam Secretary, that uh, HHS has produced over 50,000 uh, 50, documents. I note at significant expense in response to the committee's requests related to the waiver process and the creation of CCIO. Would you uh, submit to the statement, or rather submit to the committee a statement as to uh, how you have complied with that request for papers uh, and documents 
and what, what seem to be the problems, if any, that exist with regard to the committee's requests for information? I, I'd be happy to submit that. Madam yeah. Secretary, we have completed our business with 11 seconds. Over. Thank you. Thank you. The gentleman's time has expired. Uh,